Hey guys, so to start off this tutorial I already have my brows done and all the products will be linked in the info box. Next up I'm using the L'Oreal Hydrogenous Moisturiser for normal to dry skin and so far it's working pretty well. I just like to warm it up in my hands and press it into my skin and it's not as moisturising as my other moisturisers but it feels really nice on the skin. Next I'm using the Snip and Fab Primer Water just to prime my face and then I'm going on to foundation. I'm using the Rimmel Match Perfection Foundation in bronze. I will have a review on this foundation up tomorrow for you guys so I'm not going to show you too much of the application but seriously it's a really good foundation but I just like to spread it out with my finger and then just blend it away with my damp beauty blender it wasn't planned but I probably have a video up every day this week as well so meaning there'll be a video up from Monday to Friday and um, next I'm using the Huda Beauty liquid matte in girlfriend on the lids as my base and it actually works really well as a base and I'm just blending that all away it actually prevents your eyeshadow from creasing which is so nice and it also adds the tint so because I'm using a light pink eyeshadow it's gonna make it pop even more I'm now grabbing the Majestic palette by Certify and I'm using the shade Royalty which is a matte dusty rose shade it's not your typical eyeshadow colour to be honest I don't really have one like it but I've been using it so much it's so nice so I'm just packing that all over the mobile lid like so because I have the Huda Beauty liquid lipstick underneath it just makes the colour pop even more and it's just so nice and now I'm using the shade Majestic which is my favourite colour in the palette but actually they're both my favourite colours but these are the two colours that made me buy the palette but anyways I'm just blending that majestic palette in the crease and on the outer V corner of the eye you can also go back in with the shade royalty just to make sure that everything is soft and blended nicely now I'm going to be using the Rimmel Glam Eyes liquid eyeliner and seriously I've never seen an eyeliner with such a thin precise brush I'm not even kidding guys, it's such a good eyeliner and it stayed on all day long, it's really good and you seriously get that really sharp wing with it, definitely like by far my favourite drugstore liquid eyeliner, it's even more precise than the NYC one, I was just so shocked by it. Now I'm going on to concealer, I'm using the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer, an oldie but a goodie, I love this concealer and I'm just really highlighting underneath my eye area and I'm going to blend away with my beauty blender. I did use the other side of the beauty blender just to blend out the edges because obviously I used my foundation on that side so it kind of like makes everything look nicely blended and yeah. Once I'm done with that I am going to do a bit of baking and I'm using the Ben Nye banana powder just to do that <laughs> and I use another beauty blender now just to all, do all my baking, it's so much easier to have two sponges and then I'm just going to leave that for like a few seconds and then brush it all off. I did also go back in with the colour Majestic on my lower lash line and really blended that out and then I'm going to go on to curling my eyelashes. This eyelash curler that I've always used is by Avon by the way but seriously you can get eyelash colours anywhere. And then for mascara I'm going to use the saturated colour volumetric lash mascara and I've really really been loving this one lately, I've been using it every day because I can't find my lash sensational but it actually does a pretty good job and I'm just doing that um, on my lower and my top and bottom lashes I mean and then I'm going to be using these lashes called Diva by Pink River London and I'm, I also did use the Revlon lash glue and just glued them into place like so <laughs> they actually look really really nice next I'm going to be using the Huda Beauty highlighter palette and I'm using the shade Fiji first which is a cream highlight and just pressing this into my skin and I did use my finger because I just feel like it works the best with my finger sometimes my beauty blender but it just depends what mood I'm in and then I like to mix Seychelles and Tahiti together and apply that on top of Fiji and it just gives such a nice highlight and it doesn't really go ashy on me on anything which is a good thumbs up and now I'm using some powder this is the MAC mineralized skin finish in medium tan I'm just setting my whole face with this really super 
good for like dry skin I would say. Now I'm using the Nip and Fab contour palette. I'll write the shade in the info box but I believe it's the darkest one and I'm just going to bronze my skin with the colour I pointed to and seriously this palette is so good. Seriously it's really nice. And then I'm going to be using some blusher. This is from Primark. It's called Miscovado. It's £1.50 which is like a bargain and it's like my favourite blush at the moment. <laughs> can't speak as always and then finally i set my whole face with some nip and fab primer water again so you see this primer water by nip and fab is so good the only downside to it is that it has a wood spray it literally spits at you but it just makes my makeup look so nice but i did go in with my beauty blender and soften the highlight a bit just to blend it out and diffuse it into my skin a bit more now onto lips i'm using a primark lip pencil in toffee it's like a really nice warm brown and I'm just outlining my lips with this and then I'm going to be using the Huda Beauty liquid matte in girlfriend again on the lips seriously I've been using this color every single day it's such a nice color and the formula of Huda Beauty liquid mattes are so nice it's by far the best liquid lipstick I have because they make your lips look so plump and soft and they don't settle into the lines that I have in my lips it just really just sits on the lips so nicely dries quickly and if you haven't got any huda beauty liquid lipsticks you need to give them a go because they're so so good i definitely recommend them and then when i was done with applying the liquid lipstick i like to go back in with the lip pencil just to touch up the edges and make sure that i don't look too washed out because it is kind of light for my skin tone and yeah that's the end of this tutorial i hope you guys enjoyed it um and i'll have a foundation review for you guys up tomorrow and i'll see you then bye mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i can't control you even though i want to